Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to manage the uh, Excel's calculation options for any Excel file on the web using Office scripts. So if you open any Excel file and head over to the Formulas tab, you'll see that um, the Excel will all already have um, a calculation option. Usually it is set to automatic, but for large files containing a lot of formulas, for the sake of uh, performance, it is a common practice to set that to be of the manual mode. So when you set it to the, the manual mode, any formulas that are in the Excel file doesn't get automatically recalculated. You have to trigger the calculation if it's in the manual mode using the calculate workbook option. So let's see that in action. So uh, here it's already set to automatic, so I can go and change any of the amounts here and then you'll see that the, the, um, the total amount is automatically recalculated. But if I come back and set it to manual mode and I change any of the values here, the formulas are not automatically recomputed. So I had to come back and manually calculate the workbook and I'll see the result. Well, this is easy to do if you're in front of the workbook and interacting with it. But in some cases, you may need to do this in an offline mode, which means um, some other process is updating the Excel data and you may wish to recalculate and extract certain parts of the data outside of this workbook to an outside process. And um, in order to do that, you will have to uh, calculate the workbook. Now Office Scripts allows you to do that in a very convenient fashion. So I'm gonna show that. I'll head over to the Automate tab, open the code editor and open a new script. If I wish to know what the current uh, calculation mode is, I can do that by getting the calculation mode. So I'm gonna say calc mode. I get the application object, which represents the, the Excel application and get the calculation mode. Now that I have the calculation mode, I can just simply log it to, to see what it is. If I run this, I should get manual. Of course, I can change it to automatic here. I will get automatic. Um, another way to do this would be using the, the script itself. So that means I can change the calculation mode using Office Scripts. So to do that, I will go back to the same application object. Instead of getting, I'm gonna set the calculation mode. Uh, so this takes an enum. I'll set this to manual. So when I do that, I should see the uh, the calculation mode to be displayed as manual. There it is. It also updates the, the UI here. Now suppose this uh, workbook is already in the manual mode. I can come back and change. Oh, I accidentally changed the amount. I'll put an amount back here. So um, so let's suppose this is already in the um, in the manual mode. I can come back here and trigger the calculation. So before that, I'll make some changes. So I'll make it something big so we can see it in action. To calculate, I'll go back to the same application object and then uh, invoke the calculate method. This takes in calculation type which is an enum. And you have three options, whether to do full, full rebuild or recalculate. So I'm gonna pick the full recalculation. So when I run this, I expect this amount to be updated. Okay, so we see that this amount is now uh, getting updated. Now, um, what if I wanna uh, do this in an offline manner, which means I can trigger this as part of Office Scripts. And that is easy to do. So I'm gonna simply, if 
first rename this. Okay, now that it is saving the script. So while that is doing that, uh, I'm going to head over to Power Automate and create a new flow. I call it Excel Calc Mode. Call it Excel Recalculate. And I'll manually trigger it for now, but again, this can be part of another larger flow. You go to Excel Online, run a script. I picked the same file that I was uh, using just a minute ago. That happens to be in my OneDrive under this folder. Okay, so this script is called calculation mode. So I'm gonna call that script and save it. Okay, um, I'll go back to Excel file and um, make some more modifications. Now I'm gonna go trigger this. So I expect the amount column to reduce once I recalculate. Okay, so this flow is running right now, it finished. So when I come back, um, so I think I'll have to refresh the workbook just to see that it has updated. So now that you do see that the subtotal has been updated. Now um, you can expand on the same script or write another script to extract the amount or any other uh, piece of data that you need for uh, further processing, okay? Uh, so do check out the, the description where I have provided links to um, the source code that is used, uh, but you can also discover uh, by going to the automate tab um, and going to the code editor and just use the, uh, the, the code completion or IntelliSense in the editor to discover the same APIs. Thank you.